And now, please remain seated. No flash photography. Here's Mickey. Everybody, I had to stop by the bank. You see, I, I was overdrawn. Overdrawn? You're lucky. Yeah, we're not done yet. Uh, hello, Mr. Uh, Goblin. Welcome to my club. Stupid monkey. Bounce! Hey! Do you have a reservation? Well, yes, ma'am. I certainly do. Are you sure? Absolutely, ma'am. Huh? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Light lunch. We've got a rockin' show today with some great cartoons and our musical guests, Toot, Whistle, Plunk, and Boom. But first, the splashing pumpkins. Let's go! Oh, this is just awful. What's wrong? The ice caps are melting, taxes are too high, and my computer keeps crashing. Oh, what's wrong in here? Oh, the club's over budget. How bad is it? We're going over by 1%. Therefore, we're going to have to fire one person. Yeah, me. It'll have to be someone who doesn't get their work done, makes mistakes, asks for time off, and breaks things. Hey, I'm glad you're all here. Uh, Daisy, I didn't finish setting the tables. Donald, I accidentally locked the front door. Now nobody can get in. Minnie, is it okay if I take every other week off? And uh, Mickey, I broke your TV. You better get it fixed. Oh, yeah. I just want to say I love you guys, and I love working with you. Now, I'm going on a break. He's the one. He's the one. We can't fire Goofy. He's our friend. I'm sorry. Mickey, quick, you're back on. Oh, gosh. How do I look? My ears nice and round? Uh-huh. You look fine. Don't worry. Yeah, don't worry. <laughs> Here's your poo poo platter, poo. <sighs> Sorry, wrong plate. That's for Alice. Here comes today's first cartoon. Where's my pit crew? Pete's pit crew, we... If you're my pit crew, then get down here and crew my pit! Or I'll pitch off your little head! What happened to our truck? You told me to find the squeak, so I took out the seats, one layer. Then I took off the doors, pulled off the hood, and uh, took out the engine. But the truck won't run without an engine. You're telling me. But I found what was squeaking. Goofy, put the truck back the way it was. <laughs> That's gotta be Pete. Pretend we don't hear it. Pick up, I know you're there. Pick up, I know you're there. Aw, oh, come on, you hunk of junk. Hey, what's that noise? I put the truck back the way it was. Oops. Huh, we gotta get a new truck. And a new partner. New partner? I thought we were best friends. We are best friends, huh? See, uh, what I meant to say was, uh, you need a new, uh... A new hat. Funny you should say that. This old hat's been bugging me, too. Yep, definitely time for a new one. Now, let's see. Hmm. Ow! Give me those. That's Minnie's. That's Daisy's. Maybe a better answer. No, it's Pete. Oh, I am gonna pitch their heads off. Just let it ring. Hey, 
Hey, Goofy, where'd you put the gas tank? Hmm, now that's a good question. Here's the gas meter, gas mask, gas valve, gas lamp, gastropod, and our gas of honor. Yes! <laughs> what a gas! Hey, nice hat. I bought it over there. <laughs> Anyone for tea? Come on, Goofy, let's go! Lots more hats for me to try on! said, never mind what I said then. I'm saying now that I'm sorry I ever said it. Say what? Pigeon heads is going to occur. Can't hear that phone ringing. No. There it is. Bye. Oh, no. The brakes are out. But I made sure I put them back in. See? They're right here in the glove box in case we need them. Heads, pitch, pitch in your heads. I'm gonna all the way off, baby. This is absolutely disrageous. Where are those yahoos? Huh? Mama. All right. I warned you. It's time to pitch off some heads. You won! I did? Well, what do you know? I did! Say, this makes a nice hat. And now, here's our special guests. The original rock band, Toot, Whistle, Plunk, and Boom! <laughs> How to fire your friends. Step one, business and friendship. You must realize that business is business and friendship is not your business. That's right. Step two, finding just cause. Your reason for firing your friend is just cause you want to. You said it. Step three, issuing the pink slip. Everybody knows if you're given a pink slip that you're fired. I'll do it. Yes, you can tell a Goofy. Hey, where are you going with that pink slip? You're not trying to fire Goofy, are you? Uh, you bet I am. Don't cheese me off, Donald. We'll find another way to save that 1%. Nikki, Toot, Whistle, Plunk, and Boom only know one song. You're back on. Hey, let's hear it for TWP and B, the New Age Stone Age Band. And now it's time for... Come on, Goofy. Donald, that tickles. <laughs> You're finished. Donald, stop. You can't. I... Oh, I mean, uh, uh, attention, everybody. I've got a big announcement. Huh? As of today, I quit. Oh. This is going to be bad for business. Ha, I told you, boys, the mouse wouldn't last. Hey, up. Gorsh, Mickey's quitting. Oh, boy. 
<laughs> Not so fast, Donald. I get to pick my replacement. And I pick Goofy. Goofy! Oh, I don't want to be the host if you're quitting. I'm just taking a little break. Besides, it was all Donald's idea. And was? Yup. You said he's the one. What a friend. I won't let you down, buddy. Um, boy, I don't want to Howdy. I'm the new host. Oops. Better use the microphone. Hello! 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 Introduce the cartoon! Hey, everybody! Watch this cartoon starring me! Skill, bravery, incredibly poor judgment, qualities only found in the extreme sportsman. And there is no better test of these qualities than the extreme sport of shark feeding. This predator of the ocean uses rows of sharp teeth with which to eat. Extra sharp teeth, more sharp teeth, sharper teeth, teeth that are sharp, teeth that look dull but are really quite sharp, and an after dinner mint for later. Ever coin, come and get it! Enticed by the sportsman's call, the great white approaches. Note the graceful movements this aquatic giant exudes as it enters what's known as a feeding frenzy. The extreme sportsman must act quickly to provide the shark with a balanced meal. Don't forget to eat your broccoli. Open wide. At times, sharks can be picky eaters. Here comes a little choo-choo. Open up the tunnel. And that, apparently, concludes today's Goofy's Extreme Sports. who suggested me for the job, Donald Duck. What? That's why I'd like to thank him in a song. Hit it, boys! <laughs> Who's got the sweetest disposition? One guess, guess who? <laughs> who never, never starts an argument? Who never shows a bit of temperament? Who's never wrong, but always right? Who'd never dream of starting a fight? Who gets stuck with all the bad luck? No one but Donald Duck. Ah, Donald! I'm sorry I tried to fire you. Fire me? You were trying to fire me? I'm sorry. I'll show you sorry. Hey, stop it! Take it out! Hold it, hold it! Watch this next cartoon while I teach Donald a lesson about friendship. I fix doors. Oh, no. Why, Goofy? Yes, Goofy, the one and only. And I can fix your door in a jiffy. Oh, 
Donald Duck? Oh! He ain't here. Come back later. Whoa! I'm a coming. Hey! Wait just a minute. How do I know you're really Donald? Never want to see my face again? Gorge, I just wanted to help. <laughs> President Goofy wins and that's loud. President Goofy! What is this? Then Goofy does that. There's something screwy going on here. Tonight on Must Be Goofy. The battle against evil continues with... <laughs> Goofy the Vampire Slayer. What is the deal with Donald's house? It looks like a boat, but it's not a boat. <laughs> Mickey, I want to be in a show! It's time for Goofy's Goofworks. Uh, yuck. Uh, yuck. <laughs> oh, gorge. I don't feel so good. I gotta get some fresh air. Hey, neighbor. Uh, yuck. Hey, neighbor! Yo! 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 Wild Donald, it's a beautiful day. Mickey, you gotta help me. Hey, Donald, don't worry. You can always count on your pal, Goofy Mouse. Uh, yup. Oh, no! Are you okay, Donald? You remember Goofo, my dog, and your nephews, Oofy, Doofy, and Moofy. Hi, Uncle Donald. Uh -huh. Donald, what's the matter? Oh, Daisy, thank goodness. I'm so glad to see you. Then give me a kiss. A yes. <laughs> It's not so bad being me. Yes, sirree. You up to try it. Never. Never. But you'll get to wear my clothes. What? And you get to look just like me. Uh, yeah. Now you're goofy, too. Oh, no. You okay, Donald? Huh? You mean I'm not goofy? Not unless you've been keeping secrets. <laughs> oh, Donald! Hi, Uncle Donald. Donald. It was all a dream. And it was all your fault. Go on, beat it. Gosh, I just... Get away from me! <laughs> just trying... <laughs> to help. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Wait up, Goofy. Which there's only one of you. That's right, the one and only. And I'm gonna fix your door. <laughs> hey, open the door. It's me. Me who? Mickey, I'm glad you got my.
my page. There's been a mistake. There was? Oh, hello, Mickey. Minnie made a mistake. We're not 1% over budget, we're 1% under, which means we can hire one person back. Well, since I'm in charge, I'm hiring you back, Mickey. <laughs> now that's what I call a friend. <laughs> Accounting and bookkeeping services for the House of Mouse have been provided by Math Magic Land. Next time you make a mathematical mistake, visit Math Magic Land. Our coefficient staff serves some of the most uncommon denominators in town. Math Magic Land, located on square root two. Just follow the signs and cosines. <laughs> that's all for today, everybody. See you real soon. Hi, everybody. It's me, Goofy. And I want to say a special howdy to my pal, Donald Duck. Why, he does a fantastic job as our house manager. Not only does he make sure that everybody's doing their job, but he also greets all of our guests with a great big smile. Well, all of them except maybe Pete. Keep up the good work, Donald. 